here on the flying village of here and look where we are at none other than Chessington World of Adventures. I have never been here before. I've never been here before. We're gonna have to go through security quick. But uh, you always have that crying kid, didn't you? Okay, so I bought a ticket and the whole background was black so they couldn't even scan it. So the guy couldn't even scan it properly, just let me through anyway, the fuck. So firstly, we come through the entrance and we're greeted to some murky water with nothing in it. What a great start. So I've never been to Orton Towers. Hopefully this guy gets a uh, car and he passed a driver license. We can go there one day. But uh, from where I am, well, this is basically London where we are. But uh, from London, it's three hours away to Orton Towers. Three hours, mate. And you're, sp you're spending nearly over 100 quid just to get there by transport and train and shit. And who's got time for that? But uh, Fort Park, Cheserton, Legoland, all of those are local to me. So, Le Bahia Penguino. Think of the penguins around, just like in Paris. Finally, we got this guy who came with me. You know, he ran in the last Fort Park vlogs. Oh, look at the penguins, bro. They're so cute. Don't worry, this is only part of the zoo. <laughs> That's how you know you're in London. When you get a... a telephone box. Thankfully this one is uh, full of piss. That is what London is known for, isn't it? Room on the broom. What is it? Is it? Maybe it opens later on. Hopefully, it isn't closed. Room in the Brim is like an attraction where you walk in and you just look at shit. Now, apparently, it isn't open at the moment, so we can't go in there yet. Chesington Children's Zoo. Oh my God! Look, it's a fucking goat. Let's not go in there. Go this way. But why, why not? You free the goats or some shit? No, bro. Yeah, but it's still yeah. animals and shit. I'm here for the not oh, look at the goats, bro. Meh. Look at them, they're just lazy as shit. It's so hot, they just laying around. Uh, Deadpool. Alright! <laughs> Deadpool. Look at the cute Deadpools. Hey man, look at the cute Deadpools. They're refillable. Rattlesnake, 20 minutes. Let's just wait for this then. Where do you go this so, way? just follow whatever. So this is Rattlesnake. I haven't heard anything good about this ride. I've heard that, uh, it's, yeah, it's not very comfortable, let's say. A lot of people don't like it. Oh, yeah, can I, where, can I, where should I put my food in there? No. They, they have like storage area and shit. None of the rides here are really fast. It's still fun. No. Ryan, there's a 20 minute queue. We're just walking, bro. Never actually pay attention to any of these queue times. Half the time they're bullshit. What's this right here? Uh, Dragon's Fury. How fast is it? About 53 miles an hour. Do we have any, like, loops here? Uh, I'd say probably Vampire. Like where you go around? I think probably Vampire. 
Maybe like two or three rides. Like I said, they haven't got many roller coasters here. They're known for the flat rides mainly. <laughs> Don't shit yourself. <laughs> you like the smell of it? It ain't bad. No, We're Don't literally stop. here. 20 minutes, my arms. <laughs> When we come off this, uh, if there's internet, let's, uh, while we're in the queue, let's just put uh, uh, Jumanji. Does that go upside down? It's called Mandrel Mayhem, I think. So that took us about 15 minutes. Mind your head, amigo. Yeah, it took us about 15 minutes that did, so not too bad. It's the first ride we see as you walk into the park anyway. Yeah, look. Rattlesnake is not a jerk, is a jerky ride and it's not suitable for people with back problems. Wouldn't it? I don't think I'll let you film on the ride. I'm not gonna film, Rob. <laughs> not risking it. I film on the water rides, but not this. Yeah. Alright, here we go. So, uh, what are my thoughts on a rattlesnake? Yeah, I prefer flying fish over that, to be honest. It's not a comfortable ride. Every time you turn left or right, it shoves you against the thing. But uh, probably won't be going on that anytime soon. <laughs> you know, they should probably just demolish it, but... There's crop drop, yeah. But when you think about it, it's just... There isn't much space to build anything else, is there? There's crop drop. Remember, it's not like detonating Fort Park. Detonating Fort Park is 115 feet. And it has a G-force of 5.5. There's Among Us. Bruh, I was such a pussy to go on the one in fucking... Wait. 20 minutes, let's go. The other one was only like 15 minutes, so... Bro, we're not in queuing up for hardly anything. Fort Park is so much busier. We're coming on a Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. Think how busy it is. Oh, look. Ding, da, ding, ding, ding. Damn, girl. I did not enjoy that. I see the lady just said I did not enjoy that. <laughs> right, why is everyone wearing Ronaldo? I'm really happy to see a lot of Man U supporters, but then I'm kind of disappointed that I wear Ronaldo. If you're gonna wear a Man United Ronaldo, wear the old kit, you know, when he's actually, to, you know, fucking representing us. Where he made it. If it weren't for Man United, he wouldn't have 400 million fucking followers on Instagram. Has he got like nearly 500 now? Ronaldo has so many followers. He's the sort of guy that could get you two mil follows just by a shout out. Um, yeah, if you're gonna wear a Ronaldo shirt, ladies and gentlemen, wear from one from when he was fucking winning the Champions League with us. Apart from that, don't bother. <laughs> the guy's a sellout. He won a Champions League and ended up in the Saudi League. You know, because of him, all these people are going to the Saudi League. Then again, that's kind of good though because. Really good players that, you know, that will fucking punish United because we have shit owners are going to the Saudis, so we don't have to worry about them. <laughs> uh, I think Al, Al Hilal or some shit. Are they even in the Champions League? I'm not even, I don't even know. So it's not really fair to compare this to Detonator, but, you know, Detonator and Fort Park, Detonator bombs away. I, I was such a pussy to go on that ride, and I still haven't, but I will do it. I will do it. 
This guy here said that it's even more fucking suspenseful than stealth. Yeah, I think detonator goes faster, doesn't it, downwards. But for those of you who don't know about Detonator at Fort Park, it replaced one of the most iconic rides in uh, Fort Park. One that unfortunately I was one years old, or maybe two, I'm not sure, when it closed down. Uh, it burned, it burned, and nearly half the stuff had burnt down with it. It was called uh, w uh, Phantom Fantasia, or Wicked Witch's Haunt. It burnt down, then they uh, demolished it and replaced it with Detonator. Which I will go on. I will go on. Like I said, this is a family park, so we need to, you know, make everything suitable for the kids. Oh, oh this queue is so long. I think that's fast queue left right now. Fast track. And again, I ain't paying £12 just to get to the front of the queue. Oh, it's a chicken shop, mate. Right. Chicken shop. Uh, Drop and chicken. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro, this queue's taken forever. It hasn't even moved at all for the last 10 minutes. Fucking 20 minutes my own. Meanwhile, on Fast Trek. So that was alright. It wasn't worth the uh, it wasn't worth the queue, but it wasn't bad either. Uh, vampire, let's go vampire, bro. Let's go vampire. That's the oldest one at the moment that's working. Where is it? No, I thought the first one you went on was the oldest one. Forty-five pound. That's fifty pound. Uh, five pound cheaper. One went on was the oldest one. No, that came out ninety-eight. When did vampire come? Nineteen ninety. Nemesis came out in 1992, and when did, uh, 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 was it Nemesis Inferno, when did that come out? I think it was 2004, if I can remember. Mario, <laughs> it's a me, it's a me, Mario, no, fuck that, it's a me, no, N let me get it right, it's a me, Mario, if, if, is that well, I don't know if I fucked it or not, they're the kids ones, every fucking theme park has one of those, they're the kiddie dead, aren't you? Where's Vampire? Which Veto Vampire Mood? Oh, I do it in uh, Vampirian. Which Veto Vampire? I want to drink your blood. It's nice to eat you. Wow, oh, she's pregnant. Why is she queuing up? Indian street food. I don't eat anything that's literally that cooked one. in the open. That one. That's a uh, uh, that's the fastest one in the uh, theme park. That's a uh, Dragon's Fury. Hey, uh, Dragon Fury looks. Uh, yeah, but if don't eat and go on that. I'm not. I just want to see what they have. Six pounds, bro. Six pounds for fucking curly fries. Six fucking pounds. What is that? Like I said, I never buy a shit. Uh, Fort Park has the best uh, restaurants out of all, all the theme parks, so yeah, I've heard. It's cheap as well, it's like £16 for a buffet. McDonald's, uh, not McDonald's, uh, KFC, Burger King, I think. Uh, In Fort Park, there's £16 for a buffet, you can go whenever you want, go grab food. I had a good little car ride there. It's like the bitch version of the Lego cars at Legoland. What's that? I'm trying to figure out what that is. There's Tinky Truckers. 20 minutes, my ass, bullshit. Uh, nah, bros, nah, not worth the wait. <laughs> What's this one? Uh, Flying Jumbos. That's another kiddie ride. We'll do this shit all the end, innit? I wanna go on everything, you know? I wanna go on a big ride, man. Then you want a fucking vampire. Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't been it. Uh, it's the, it's the Ronaldo kid. Donut Express. Apparently they have really good donuts here. Oh, you shoot you, you shoot each other with uh, water in that one. 
Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, did you ever Ben and Jerry's at Fort Park? Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. I'm getting fucking Disneyland Paris vibes. Walking around and you get... A uh, uh, Pikachu. Ding, oh, ding, I wanna, ding. I try win that big ding, ding, thing. ding. Should we try it? Come on, let's play. He wants to play the game. Uh, I want a fucking Eevee, man. Want me an Eevee? Shall I play this or this? That one, innit? Yeah, but how, where, where are you gonna put that? <laughs> one ball. Right. Fucking hell, is that expensive? So you get one and you win. It's a three pound for. Three pounds. You take card. One shot, innit? One shot and you win. God, don't let me down, Ryan. Get the EV, bro. Uh, I'll try it. He wanted Charizard and Thieving Fort Park. Hey, you want me a Charizard at Fort Park? Win me a fucking EV. Take your time, man. Don't rush it. Okay, here he goes. Take your time, take your time. Oh, what a guy, man. He let him have another go. What? I mean, you're pretty close. I haven't played basketball in a while. Seven. Seems right. Uh, yeah, why not? Um, yeah, so you're paying, so you get four, I get three. What do you mean you get those? Come on. You get four turns, yeah, I'll get three. This guy is cool, man. At least he gives us two. You wanna do chance? All right, hold you it, try. but don't film me. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, all right, fine. All right, go. All right, hold it. Let me try. God, I didn't give that enough power. You need to get it on target. <laughs> oh. was... All right, let me have the last two, yeah? Wait, let me have the last two. You... you... Come on, let me have the last two, please. Bro, you had like fucking five turns. Okay, hold it. Let me try that last one. Come on, rock, paper, scissors, this one. You hold that camera, so. Come on, guys. Oh, Man, why do you hold the camera like lopsided? There's no effort in that. Fucking. Well, the guy was cool. He even gave us an extra board at the end, but fucking. You like filming like that, bro? Lopsided. Worst video photographer ever. Look, we found a reindeer. He looks pissed. No, don't go. Don't go. Maybe he's too hot for him. I think he's pissed. Let's go. No. Oh, he's back again. Hello. Hello. Don't go, Mr. Reindeer. I think you can stroke him. Right, if he comes up to us. Uh, reindeers are cool. You don't even have to go lap land, and there's one right here. Aren't they used to like winter climates, though? The poor guys out here in the hot. And he came right up close to us as well. Come yeah, mom. Come yeah, mom. He doesn't seem in an aggressive mood, so... I think you can stroke his head, I think you can stroke his side, but... He's gone now. It'll come back this way, won't he? Well, let's go, man. It's getting hot. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll come back. We'll come back for him later. Yeah, he wants to. He wants to chill in the shade. You want to chill in this? Oh, there he is. He's over there. Wait, is there two of them? Is there one of them? Okay, stop being nasty. If uh, saw's not open. Where are they, mate? They're not here. I'm gonna talk like a vampire, seeing as I'm near vampire. Get out of my way. A bean to ring. It's a shame it ain't here. It's too hot for him, brother. In the shade. So which way is vampire this way? I was gonna say. Ding shang ding. There's no bitter rung or whatever the hell it's called. Oh, Saval, these are the ones I really wanted to see. And they're not here. Of course they're not. Like pretty much everything else. Oops, sorry. Not here, Ryan. Where are they all, man? The lion. The lion. Someone got really good video before. They stood here and it started roaring. And there he is, sleeping. Well, at least in fucking, we went Paris and we didn't even see it. When you went with those two girls, did you see it? Yeah. No, because when we went Paris, he went out. No, when I went to Disneyland Paris, I didn't see any like no Disneyland Paris. We went to the zoo in Paris. I saw it. <laughs> didn't. Yeah, it did. It was standing at the top just, of the cliff. Just watch the video back, bro. I filmed everything. Just watch the video back. I saw it. Man, look, he's sleeping. Fuck's sake. Hopefully he's back later. Bro, come on, let's look for the vampire. Okay, show me. <laughs> So we're where Vampire is, and lo and behold, it's 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Let's do, this. Let's do, do, do you really want to queue up 40 minutes? Let's pretend we're disabled. Let's Shut disabled. up. Oh. They say I'm mentally disabled. Ryan, don't, don't do it. I let his blood. They're supposed to pour blood, it's not even on. Fuck's sake, man. Because that is a good ride, this water, that's why. This way, where are you going? Where are you going? Is that it? I don't know. Man, I'm not looking forward to fucking queuing up. This guy's gonna complain all the time. 40 minutes, man, fuck. <sighs> How it feels like now? <laughs> See why I'm so pissed. No, the theming could be better. I mean, come on now. Bruh, I get scared more, I, you know, more that I'm stuttering. I feel more scared walking into my bathroom than I do in this place. I haven't been Orton Towers, but apparently it sounds like 13. I want to drink your blood. Bro, you can see how old this ride is. Look at that. Look at how fucking degraded the tracks are. I feel like every year each theme park should retrack a, a ride once, you know, like retrack Vampire uh, next year, retrack fucking, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Rattlesnake the year after that. You know, to do it one at a time instead of retracking that every fucking seven years. <laughs> Yeah. 
Ryan. Ryan. Say, I want to drink your blood. <laughs> Pick up the Samsung Galaxy. So I was hearing a squeaking noise. You know that whistle goes, wee, wee, with these two retard kids over here. They've been doing it the whole time. It's really annoying. So those straws that they give out in uh, Alton Towers, if you're watching this video, change them. <laughs> I'm saying if it's a weekday, yeah, but your parents like always here weekends. So it's always loud. What do you mean your mum's not home? And when she come back? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm only asking you in it because it's been a while. I'm just saying the bed's not that comfortable. We've been in this queue for so long, so long, Look, and it goes all the way around there too. So, this is my other phone, 29 minutes left until I can go on Mantle Mayhem, yeah. And I haven't got a clue if we're going to make it, we've already been in this queue over 50 minutes. Red eyes, blue, blue eyes, why draw it again? We are moving, finally fucking moving. Finally, bro. Finally fucking moving. Blue eyes, white dragon. As they send you, get 2000 dub. Dragon. Or dragon. Right, we've got loads of girls behind us. I swear to fucking god, I hope they don't scream. No, I can't scream. I go, <laughs> that's as much as I can do. Hey, Ryan, try and scream. I can't do it. You're so boring. Stop. Stop. Here we are, we finally made it, and I've got 12 minutes to get on Mandrel Mayhem. Oh god, they're behind us. Fuck's sake, these girls are behind us, bro. <laughs> you excited, my guy? What? We're about to go on a ride that's only 30, 32 odd years old. It's better be worth it, I'm gonna be pissed. 10 years, so uh. <laughs> it's about nearly 34 years old or so. <laughs> Kill me now. I want to drink your fucking blood. So there's, there's 24 seats, ladies and gentlemen. And we've been queuing up nearly fucking hour or so. I can't believe that. But looking at this place, apparently, uh, apparently they've downgraded since it re uh, opened back in the day. Apparently they took a lot of the actual decorations down. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot more than just these flickering candles, which is a shame. There's old, uh, I think his name's Marcel, if I'm not mistaken. If you've been allocated a road when you sit here, thank you. Shut up, mate. I'm going to take you when we get closer.
boy Marcel. So apparently back in the day, his hands actually moved in time of the music. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Nasveratu. <laughs> More like Nasveratu Zard. Oh, damn, Berserk reference right there. That, uh, just like the previous ride. Uh, no, not like the previous ride. Previous ride was alright. I'm definitely not worth the queue. This ride, very fun. Definitely not worth the queue. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed that. You know, for a ride that's fucking over 32 years old, I mean. Where are we on it? I can't see myself. <laughs> I'm trying to find myself, ladies and gentlemen. And there we are. <laughs> hey, you got a t-shirt. Man, is that vampire? And that says Halloween. Have you got like a vampire hoodie? <laughs> 40 pounds. Mm. 40 pounds. Mm. Not much gone into it. Because if you look at a. Uh, give me a second. So this is my saw the right. Can you see? It's not great, but it's the, the you know the embossed. You can actually feel that it's been knitted in. This one is just uh, yes. If it's twenty quid, I would have. <laughs> Definitely not forty quid. That's cute. Ugly but cute. The mouse on the horse. Oh no, the gruffalo, Ryan. The gruffalo's literally right there. Look, you come out the Gruffalo ride there, and then there's a Gruffalo. Did you hear that guy? This is the one you get wet on. Oh, I'd like to get wet. <laughs> Here, they're little bastards. These two kids are little bastards, mate. They're whistling. Oh, she won a fucking Eevee. They get whistling for the whole fucking queue, man, with their stupid little plastic straws. Oh, I hate you, Ryan. We're not eating it, and you're going to walk and eat it. Yeah, a lot of money. Over a ten quid, Ryan. I don't ever eat at these places. Why? Because I feel cheated, and I feel they beat me if I do that. If I eat at these places, yeah. It's like... <laughs> yeah, I'm basically being... fucking robbed. I won't let them win. Last person paid £39.80. <sighs> yeah, what should be like £11 something? You know these burgers are tiny, right? £4.30. I don't have anything, bro. £13, no. £12.25, no. Look at that. £12.50 for a few little nuggets and a little bit of chips. That is wank, mate. Yeah, we get it. Everything's over 10 quid. It's even more expensive than going to London. You want to pay fucking that much money for a hot chocolate? At the very end of the day, yeah. At the very end of the day, we'll come and get a drink here. They have slushies as well. Yeah, they're f I'm not a slushy fan unless that's mango. I'm not. All right, how do we get out of here? Oh, it's this way. There's the guy who's in front of us. That's a cool tree. I like that. I like this area, it's cute. I'll definitely eat under there. 
Okay, on to the next one. Yeah. Tiger Crossing. Oh! Tiger Bridge. This is cool. Wow, big ass Buddha. You know what, I'm getting vibes when I'm looking at this. I'm getting the fucking Buddha from Gantz. Gantz is a manga written by Hiroya Oku from like 2000 up to like 2013. I love the shit out of it. I've got the whole manga and uh, the anime is great too. I just remember that thing coming alive and then just stamping it and everything. And then K Corona hits it like a bullet through the forehead. Quick! Wow, this place is so cool. Yeah, it's fucking 15 on there. Shit, I forgot the recording. <laughs> so apparently Tiger Rock has a technical issue. We're about halfway through the queue and there's a technical issue. Fucking amazing. And his twat had his earphones in, it didn't even hear anything. Fantastic. Did I know that? No, I didn't. It's the equivalent of 380 bottles of Coca-Cola. Damn. Nearly there now. Nearly there. So, yeah, bad news. Um, we queued up, I think, like 210 something. It's now 325. This, the ride's been malfunctioned for 20 minutes. The boats haven't moved, no water's coming out. Yeah, I'm so close to just leaving this queue right now. Imagine queuing up nearly fucking hour only for a ride to break down and not to be able to get on it. That is the most fucking humiliating shit. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick look and then I'm gonna go. Man, there's water coming out. There's literally water coming out in streams, and they're not letting us through. Because I'm, I'm afraid that we're going to leave now, and then it's going to start up. Because there's straight up water coming out, why aren't they letting us on? Because I can see gushing water now, and they're still not letting people ride. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. This is ridiculous. Look, Q is right there, the fucking... Right there, ladies and gentlemen, is where the ride is, and we've been here for like 20 minutes. Oh, because the fucking boats... Oh, the boats are moving! Right, and the boat is finally moving, they're trying to test it now. Ryan, look, they're testing the boat. Finally, they're literally testing the boat now. If it comes all the way around, they can let people on. There goes another boat. Yeah, it looks to be back on track. Ryan, ain't no way we're leaving the queue now. Look, I'm so miserable looking. Get off your phone. So I'll say about an hour and 30 minutes we just waited. And finally, finally, they're letting people actually ride now. Here we go. Them tigers better come out, man. You know, I feel a little bit better if I see one tiger. We made it in the end, brother. We made it in the end. I was so tempted to literally lead this queue and here we are. You know? 
The only ride I've ever had to leave was Romba Rabbids in Fort Park. We queued up for two hours and then it, it went malfunction and never opened for the rest of the day. You know why? Because they got trainees probably working here. Look, useless bastards. Oh, bro, he just kissed him on the lips. <laughs> that is fucking dirty. Collateral damage. See, this is why I'm not sure why the queue is so long. Look how many people they're just letting on and just letting through. Isn't it? Emotional damage. Four people in that one. That one ain't gonna move. That's that's a challenge. So who's sitting at the front? Me, boy. No, it's me. Me. Yeah. Rock paper scissors, then, yeah. Rock paper scissors. It's only fair. It's only fair. Yes. Come on, man. my birthday, fuck you. Come on. Don't be an asshole. Rock, paper, scissors. Are they? Rock, paper, scissors. There they go. Go, don't be tight, come on. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, boy. Literally, I queued up an hour and a half for this. It better be worth it. Are you recording? Why you got it that way, can't it? That's the worst way to record. Man's got his phone literally horizontal. Tilt it. Are you even recording? Fuck me. No, tilt it. Like I'm doing, yeah. You can't record like that. Ah, uh, there's a camera here. Oh well, fuck it. Oh shit! Oh bro, this is jaggedy! Yay! Uh. La la la! La la la! La la la! La la la! La la la. I like it when I go through tunnels. We haven't got to the best bit yet. Look how many cameras there are on this fucking ride. Ah, oh, my shoes are gonna get wet. My ass are gonna get wet and my shoes are gonna get wet. Shit. Oh damn girl, we gon' high. What you gonna do with a drunken sailor? What you gonna do with a drunken sailor? We gonna do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning, look, there is. There's a tiger right there. He oh, up she rises. He oh, up she rises. He oh, up she rises. Early in the morning. Fuck, mate. It's fucking flooded, mate. Emotional damage. Hello, Mr. Cameraman. For your safety, remain seated with hands and arms and feet, legs inside the boat. So, look, we're gonna go down there and we go through the mouth. This is sort of like the one in Legoland, the, uh, the uh, Vikings one that's gonna shut. 
Like I said, I think the Viking one's a bit higher up and we'll be closing on the 25th. Shit, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna lean back. I'm gonna lean back because... I'm gonna hold on, hold on to your, with both hands, yeah? In case you drop it, hold Please on. Please keep arms and legs inside the boat at all Look, look at the Buddha. Please keep arms and legs inside the boat. Shit, here we go. Ryan, hold on, yeah? With both hands. Yeah, baby! Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! My socks! No way, my socks are soaked! That's not fucking fair! Look, my socks are fucking drenched! Oh, shit! No way am I gonna have to walk the rest of the day with my fucking shoes soaked! That sucks. Bro, my socks are fucking drenched. Look, 60 minutes. Okay, let's uh, on to the next one. Let's go on to a really short one so we won't have to queue up and then miss, you know, another ride. Okay, okay, let's go. So there's Mandrel Mayhem. I don't know why it's, it's running. I mean, it literally says that it's... Uh, <laughs> it's not open for about another 40 minutes or so. Let me check my booking real quick. To think this ride here is quicker than the Mandrel Mayhem. Thirty one minutes. Mm. Yeah, look, Mandra Mayhem's literally going. Sorry, I've been recording this whole time, haven't I? <laughs> Shit. Uh, all right, on to, uh, it's 30 minutes till that opens for us. So straight on to Monkey Swing on, let's go. So we got 14 minutes until Mandrel Mayhem opens up and uh, yeah, we ain't gonna be getting on this ride. There's no way we're getting on this ride in 14 minutes. We've already been queuing up fucking 11. This has been open since 2000, this one. I've won. That looks really fun as well. First ride of the day where we've had to duck out because the fast track people keep getting on and then we're just stuck there doing fuck all. So we're gonna head over to Mandrel Mayhem if I can remember where it is because I'm not missing it for a second time. All right, let's go. So I found some old ass motorbike looking thing. Shout out to uh, Mia. <laughs> so exactly what I thought would happen is happening. Uh, riders got off about five minutes ago and for the last 15 minutes they've just been test running it, sending off empty carriages over and over and over and over again. Yeah. So, this is probably, the next one will probably be the last ride. And then yeah, and then straight home. So looks like I might be able to go to the zoo today, because I really want to go on the... Uh, oh, he's got his thumb up, look, mm, he's got his thumb up. Oh, here we go again, look, an empty carriage with no people in it. Man just put his thumb up, I thought, okay, let's let riders on. No, no, no. The fuck say, it's empty again. Literally nobody on it. This is the fourth time now this guy's put an empty carriage out. We get it, mate. It's like, what, is it dangerous for the riders? I'm like, what, what's gonna happen? They're gonna fall out in the seats or some shit. You know, it's so fucking stupid. Four times isn't enough for you. Stupidest shit, man. 
really irritating. No, if I can get on a Dragon's Fury after this, you know, that'll be enough. If I don't, this will be one failure of a day. Because I'm nowhere near to even the fucking entry line yet. Entry line? The fucking entrance. Huh. God, I'm all over the place. I didn't mean entrance, I meant the fucking exit. Okay, so a little bit of relief. I thought the queue would go like that, and then over there, and then over here. No, we can literally just turn right here after Ronaldo goes in. So, so it's like, are we at the front or are we at the back? Nobody knows. <laughs> Poor guy, man, he feels sick. Bro, that was the uh, sickest ride I've ever been in, bro. That ride was fucking amazing. That was so fun. Oh my god, was that fun. It accelerates like so many times. You won't believe that's 44 miles an hour. Yeah, that ride is 44 miles an hour. That felt like it was like 61 or some shit. That nowhere near as fast as stealth, you know? That thing really pulls you back. But he's got to sit down now, he feels dizzy. That was, he's like me after fucking uh, Zodiac. Jesus Christ. Zodiac in Fort Park is the one ride that made me feel like I wanted to die. I laid on the, on the bench for like an hour. Like a full on hour. I'm talking back in like 2010 or some shit. Bro, out of all the rides I've ever been on, fucking Zodiac at Fort Park made me feel sick for an entire hour. I laid on a bench. That's no, how bad The only reason I feel sick on this ride is because I had a headache at the start, innit? So, uh -huh. because of the pressure, it made me feel a bit yeah. sick-ish. I feel sick after Colossus and Inferno, but I'm used to them now. No, but I only feel sick because I have a headache. If I didn't have a headache, I'd be fine. But just because I have a headache, I feel sick after this ride. Yeah. Brother, at least this is the last time anyway, you can't book that any was, more tickets. That was amazing, bro. You can't book any more tickets though now, innit? Yeah, that was fucking brilliant. That's a shame, innit? I loved going that a billion times. Right, now we need to go on the final ride, this one. We have to go on this. Meaning, we'll probably come back another day, but we'll, we'll go to the zoo the next time, innit? This, this one probably will. Bro, by the time you get on the ride, you'll be better anyway. This is the fastest ride. I mean, if you feel sick when you're about to go on, just literally leave the queue and just sit down the same. As soon as you get to the front, well, decide. It's, as well. it's up to you. If you don't feel up to it, you feel up to it, innit? You can always get I to the front. I have to go in the detail that I've actually been on it. Yeah. You can always get to the front of the queue and go, no, nah, fuck me, I'm too dizzy, and then just get off, yeah. So, uh, I don't, know, I don't know which way we're going. I don't know. Remember, this is the fastest one in the park. Mandrel, like, not Mandrel Mayhem. Yeah, this is definitely the one. Look at that. So apparently this is 65 minutes, but we have to go on this ride. You know, because then I can say I've been on, uh, I can be on, uh, what's it? Oh, but I'm all over the place. Like I could say I've, I've been on Vampire, Mandrill, uh, and then this one. These are like the top three in the park, so... Apparently it's a 65 minute wait, but we have no other choice. I mean, the park will be shutting. You know? Excuse me, are you driving the fast track? This is fast track. Oh, don't think we have to go all the way there. Man. Yeah. Bro, we're in the literally, we're in the fast track. Don't, where's the actual queue then, man? This is the way. Yeah, we went the wrong way. Uh, don't go on your phone, Ryan. It may even work. Mind your foot. 
There's like a fucking dig on the floor, man, and he tripped over. Oh, these are the fucking pikey travellers, look. These are the sort of people, ladies and gentlemen, that have parties next to your house. These people right here. I'm not discriminating, these people are fucking degenerates, mate. Sorry if you're a pikey or a traveller watching this video, but <laughs> you're all the same. Bro, I, I was in Fort Park, we were queuing up for Rush, and these pikeys kept asking to get in front of me. I was like, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, fucking... They live on, like, caravans and shit. They're the most degenerate people. I had uh, Irish traveller pikeys, yeah, living next door to where I used to live. They moved away, but they graffitied on our door. They fucking put nails under the wheels of the car. The uh, stuff you clean the windows of your car with, they fucking doused it all over the floor. My dad's drive is fucking mental. We were cheering when they left. Funny enough, they only moved like a few blocks up the road. It's funny. Yeah, bad memories. Travellers are the worst sort of people to make friends with. They start fights over nothing. Anyway, I'm rambling on about absolutely nothing. So, yes, yeah, will be the last ride of the day. Next time I visit Chesington, we'll be going to the zoo. This was just mainly to get rid of the big rise. Look like he's better now. See that? <laughs> Looks like he's better because this guy would have a heart attack and vomit instantly. A heart attack? Did I say no? He, he gets like a... What is it? He'll get a, he'll get a headache and then he'll just vomit straight afterwards. But I think it's because he's standing and he's outside and yeah, he's probably better now. Sucks that you can't see the tigers. Hopefully the camera isn't blur cloudy for you guys. It looks a bit cloudy for me. Yeah, this will be the last ride of the day. Next, uh, next time, what we'll do is... Uh, no, you know what? I'll leave this to the end of the uh, video. I'll leave it to the end of the video. To, you know, tell you what will happen after we leave this park. So we've got a good view. Look how fast it goes up there. It goes up there really quick. Number eight, late for a date. Oh, this girl's cut. This girl's cut. Yeah. That kid looks lost. <laughs> nearly there, nearly there now. So good, sir. Are you coming on the ride? Are you going? He's going, yeah, good choice. Here you go, should quickly. Come on or should I go? Come on or should I go? Don't risk it. If you're freaking got a headache, it spins around. If it didn't spin around, like you said, you don't want to risk it. But if you do go, you're going on a single rider. You're not going with me, I don't want to risk it. you got something on your ear. I'm only feeling fucking... I mean, you got like three seconds to decide. <laughs> if you are, you're going on your own. But how? We haven't got no space there. They let single riders. So, what am I going to say about that ride? Uh, I wanted it to spin more. <laughs> it didn't spin like I thought it would. That's uh, so unfortunate, that is, but... Yeah. Where's my friend gone? Bro, my headache's gone now. Where's my friend gone, man? Fuck's sake, he's just, he's fucking ditched me. It's that bit there that's the funnest part, and then I think the beginning of it, the beginning of it is like really good, and then towards the end, it's sort of, how do I explain it? It doesn't, mm, it wasn't bad, it was just meh. The ending was meh.
But the beginning and the first like fucking 30 seconds is really fun. But uh, now I've got to find my friend. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, it has come to an end. Uh, I got on pretty much all the rides that I really wanted to go on. I would have liked to have gone on that log flume ride. But uh, it wasn't to be. I didn't get to go in the zoo, unfortunately, which is very disappointing. And the aquarium as well, which sucks. Oh, fuck, it's too close. I'm just taking a picture on my phone, look. Sorry, I'm trying to take a picture and do it at the same time. There we are. Give me a sec. Goodbye, seagull. And this is it. This is a way out. Gotta admit, though, the entrance to this park sucks. It's, it doesn't look cool. <laughs> Not like Fort Park. Mm, Fort Park's pretty mid their entrance, but. I like it. Pretty cool, decent entrance. Yeah. Yeah, this park, I think, opened in 1987 uh, as a theme park and opened as a zoo in 1931. Fort Park opened in 1979 and uh, Orton Towers 1980. Orton Towers had a ride called the Corkscrew ride, and you know what they did to it? They took part of the track, and they, if, as you go into the entrance of Orton Towers, there's a part of the track still there. Yeah, one day, on Towers, one day. I just don't have a clue how I'm going to get there. You know, it's like, what, £70 in train journey for us, and then £70 back. Oh, and then tickets on top of that. Yeah, but I might be so tired to drive us there. It's like, on Towers, one day, ladies and gentlemen, fuck knows when. We cannot tell you. Where's the bus stops? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Which way did you go? I can't remember. No, I don't remember this bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's go this way. So we've gone out a different way as to how we came in. Unlike how Fort Park does it, but uh, yeah. I got to go on the rides. Man uh, Mandrel Mayhem, the best ride. Between... Uh, uh, fucking, what's the name of it? That ride I just went on, Dragon's Fury. They need to change the name of that. All they got is one little model dragon in the front of the entrance. That's about it. There's no other dragon aspect to it. They should just change it to fucking uh, spin a winner or some shit. Like cringe like that. But uh, what are these people doing? Are they leaving the park? I'm like, oh yeah, look, they're coming from that way. But uh, yeah. I'm probably gonna have to go with Vampire. Vampire was better than, is better than the Dragon's Fury. It goes ma uh, Mandrel may uh, Mayhem, number one. Shame the people that went Chesn all those years back and never managed to get on that ride. That ride was amazing. That was uh, number one. Uh, number two had to be, uh, yeah, like I said, fucking, uh, fucking Vampire. Number three, yeah, uh, Dragon's Fury. Uh, number four, uh, croc, uh, croc, croc, fuck that. Number four was, uh, was number four? Four was probably the water ride, yeah. Uh, tiger, tiger rock. And then number five was, uh, five was croc drop. And then six is probably, uh, we go this way, yeah. But you sure this is uh, way? I don't know, I mean, the entrance is probably over there. And then six is. To the, I remember the bus went inside the entrance, in it inside the car park, like the entrance of the car park. It was right in f in front of the entrance of the car park. No, he went inside and he just popped on the side. Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll find a way. But uh, yeah, he's distracting. Uh, uh, rattlesnake. That was the last one. Did we go on the other ones? No, I think that was it. We went on like six shit today, didn't we? He went on sick stuff. Pretty decent, isn't it? I went sick. I said six. I didn't say sick. Uh, 
yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's, it's right. There's a lot of rides. I would love to have gone on that. I would love to have gone on that fucking snake ride. Wait, what? Uh, I feel like that's the entrance. No, that's where we just came out of. Uh, yeah, we'll ask this guy real quick. What are they? Is they are they like rejected rides and shit? Because look, there's like a giant teddy bear over there. Yeah, the good thing is though, I don't have to get early early tomorrow. I start work at like four to like midnight. So. Are you going home after Kingston, or are you going what are you doing? Yeah, I'm going. I don't know if I can rest in it. <laughs> yeah. But um, that was fun. But right, what I was about to say, I'm wasting time now. What I was about to say is, me and my friend here, last time he failed to come. Uh, he was supposed to come Friday night with me, and he didn't. So that was a real bummer. I went on my own that time. And uh, yeah, I think I got like 170 views. It was called My Worst Time at Fort Park Fright Nights. And it was the most fucking annoying... Well, forgive my French. I'm going to stop cursing now. But it was uh, probably the worst time I've ever had at Fort Park. I think I got on three rides. I went on Stealth. I went on Saw. And yeah, I, no, I think I actually only got two rides. I can't remember, I didn't get on that much. But, um, yeah, it was a huge, huge shame. Uh, really hated that uh, day. It was so packed that every single queue was like, uh, uh, stealth was two hours, fucking saw was three hours. It was an absolute nightmare, and I hated every moment of it. But, uh, oh yeah, I also got robbed as I paid like 70 pounds. That included the fearsome four. And pretty much everything on top of that, apart from a fast track, they should have given me that. You know, I did pay 74 quid, but that was, you know, separate because they're, you know, cheap bastards. But uh, what I was about to say is we were planning on going to Fright Night. He still wants to go, but it's like, it's, it's like I don't want to go due to the fact that I saw the ride, I think a week ago or like two weeks ago, was closed off. They haven't told us why. They haven't told us what's wrong with it. Maybe there's something wrong with like the electronic systems and whatever. But uh, look, there's a beef eater. Oh, bro, I've never seen anyone apart from what we are. But, uh, yeah, it's, that was an awful day. But it's, what's to say it ain't going to be much different this year, you know? I went on, the, I think, the 30th or the 29th last year. I didn't go on Halloween night. I, I can't remember what I actually did on Halloween night. Uh, yeah. I think I decorated my house, I can't remember. Well, that's over now. I won't be decorating my house. I sold all my shit, didn't I? But, uh... There's a pink mini bringing back Tina vibes. She sold that ages ago. Look, Premier Inn, like he said. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, if Saw the ride... Oh, and uh, the flying fish. Look, that guy's pissed. Look, he's stuck in the queue. Look. Is he putting his middle finger up? Yeah. The guy in beyond the pink car. But, uh, yeah, uh, Fort Park. If Saw the Ride's not open about a week or two weeks before, I'm not going. I mean, the ghost train isn't enough to make me want to go, you know? Oh, of course, it's like a girl who's driving the car. <laughs> but, uh, what is it? Yeah. If Sword of Ride isn't open, Flying Fish is uh, closed off as well. I think that's like 84 Flying Fish. But yeah, Flying Fish, Sword of Ride, not open. So, unless those two open up... You know, I'm, I'm alright with just Saw opening. Flying Fish is cool. Because every time I go theme park, I have to go on that first. Just to when we wake myself up. But, uh... Yeah, it's really disappointing. You really need to go next year. But then again, Exodus... Exodus won't be built until like let's say November time and by that time the theme park would have closed so it'll probably open for the uh, March or whenever the theme park opens in 2025 so it'll open for then so yeah if Sora isn't open this year for Friday night 
then you won't be seeing a video of uh, Fort Park on his channel until at least 2025. But uh, like I said, yeah, I'm not having a repeat of last year. And I queued up three hours to saw and to go this year and for it to not be open would be fucking annoying. But if, if that doesn't happen, uh, if we don't go to uh, Fort Park, we'll come back here Friday, uh, Saturday. Saturday, is it? No. I can't remember when it is, the 31st of October this year. I booked it off anyway from work. So I'd probably, I'd probably, yeah, come back here on the 31st. I think it shuts at 7 as well. But uh, what was, uh, well, good news though, you know, bad news aside, good news is I was planning on going to Legoland Windsor in October, but I found out recently that one of the rides is permanently closing. And this is like Pirate, Pirate River Rapids or some shit. And uh, I used to love that ride. Unfortunately, you know, every so often they take parts of the uh, ride away. You know, not the actual track, but parts that make it, you know, what it is. It's a real shame, but it's, it makes up a huge amount of the park. It's a long ride. So, for, see it, for to see it go is going to be sad, but I hope they replace it with something worthwhile, you know? Otherwise, it'll just be one big disappointment. But I'm going to say goodbye to it. I'll upload a video of my last ride on it. I think the last time I went on it was like back in like 2016 or some shit. But, uh, I want to say goodbye to it. This guy, he doesn't know if he's coming or not. Hopefully he will. Because he'll be able to say goodbye to it uh, with me, you know, with me. But uh, yeah, definitely on the 31st, it will either be Fort Park, if so, and Flying Fish are open. Maybe if so opens, whatever. Or back here. It just depends. Because I really want to go on stealth again, and I love sort of bits. You know? I even did a... There we go. See that? Saw the ride. I picked that over. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're nearly there at the bus stop anyway. But that's it. That's what's going to happen. So before the 25th September, you're going to have a Legoland video. You know, because I love you guys. But, yeah. I hope to see you all in the next one. Before you go, uh, what was your top three ride today? Number one. Uh, ring, ring, poor the handstring. She got the one like Jumanji. He like the Jumanji or Mantle Mayhem is what it goes by. What's the second one? Second one. The first one we went on, that was, uh, what, the fucking uh, rattlesnake. Bro, the bus stop. It's, it's fine, it, it waits here for a little while. You don't need to run, we're nearly there anyway. You're stuck in traffic, look. Actually, no, we're going that way, not this way. Yeah, we're going that way. So rattlesnake, you like rattlesnake, the one we went on first, that was your second. Yeah. And then what was your third? Was the water ride. Water ride first. Well, but you're missing out a flipping vampire. <laughs> he can't make his mind up, he likes all of them. But uh, yeah, I will see you all guys in the next video. Yes, it is our bus, but there's no one in there. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. The Flying Leecher. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs>